Hello. Hello again. We're back. You miss us. You better of, or we will come for you. Know where you live, Stephen Ojowski at 5578 Creek Lane, South Dakota, California. South Dakota Lane, California. What's your number 70? My number 70 is <laughs> Waiting for the Axe to Fall by Gil Scott ah, Heron. <laughs> um, <laughs> they may be later on the list. Uh, and this is just, this is definitely the funkiest song on my list. This is just kind of like a pure, like, like great production. Just all these horns, funk bass. Oh, yeah. And I guess uh, our, our final, my final one last time was I Predict a Riot, which was about how much they didn't like society. This is kind of like Gil Scott talking about all the things wrong with society at this time. Yep, and the, all these various people who are just waiting for the axe to fall. That's all they have going in their lives. Fabulous but, artists, yeah. yeah. It's such a, like, a rich production. The, the bottle was on my short list. That's a great song, too. <laughs> Why are you doing it like a cat? I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, my number 70, I'm sure we're going to be seeing, I, I can predict which song by this artist and about where in the list this is going to show up for John. But for me, this is The Man's Too Strong by Dire Straits. There's hair on the yeah. floor. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of have to give it a nod because I was directly thinking of this sort of delivery and build throughout the song when we were writing Dirty Life in Times of a Gun. Oh, yeah. So, and I was kind of, somehow that kind of, that kind of, like, storytelling vocal performance that still is kind of the one that is surrounded by the instrument. The instruments are following and kind of the way it goes up and down. That, that chorus is great, you know? Down, 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 down. <laughs> Yeah, what, a, just what a, like, Wonderfully dramatic song. number. Yeah. yeah. All right, my number 69, I, I technically have this cover version on. They're about equally good. Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Uh, I like this Brian Burns version, a little heavier um, and still being folky. And this is just like, you know, it feels like a song that's several hundred years old because it's kind of, you know, this like seagoing ship crash tale. When I first heard it, I thought it was like a traditional song. I thought yeah, it was the longest yeah. time. Exactly. I think even the wreck itself is like in the 1970s. Uh, and they yeah, just what a like so many great turns of phrase in it and just like a really like memorable melody I remember trying for ages to figure out I think I was composing a newsletter and I didn't end up using this as a headline but I was trying to think of where the original the Gales of November phrase came from all I could find was this song <laughs> the Gales of November came early <laughs> it, was a, it probably it was a, is just from this song yeah, and, and it was. I couldn't find it, but I was. My point is, I was trying to trace it back further because I figured it was probably some old proverb. You know, that that's the kind of language, the rich language that's being used yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, and he's got like that verse about all the great lakes. I'm not sure if they're actually all that different from each other, but. All right, my number sixty nine is a pretty straightforward rock song. It's "Are You Gonna Go My Way" by Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> That, that riff has already cemented its place, I think, in the nice rock Bible of guitar riffs. Uh, it was like, I think, the 90s, and it's kind of the late 90s, and I think it's just sort of in there. But it's hard to believe this came out, like, after I was born, you know? It, it's, I mean, it, it's not hard to believe, but, like, how it's just kind of already in there. Uh, you know, Lenny Kravitz, another talented bastard, you know, so certainly got to give him a nod. I, I don't. I'll give him a head shake. Okay, well, what about this song at least? <laughs> eh. Eh, fine. Okay, whatever. This would be in, like, my medium. If we were doing, like, the 100 most medium songs, this would be on there. All right, whatever you say. <laughs> we can agree to disagree. We can agree to disagree. <laughs> All right, my number 68 is Aqualung by Jethro Tull. Uh, this is just, yeah, classic, epic. It's got what a, you know creepy man on the park bench but it's kind of like you know it's got both his like dark side and kind of like it feels it shows sympathy for him and just w so many different things going on like there's like the soft acoustic part there's like the kind of upbeat guitar solo-y Britishy part and there's kind of like that main riff oh, no, 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 no. 
Another now there's one that's really in the Bible. <laughs> the yeah. Rick <Broderick> Bible. <laughs> Bam, no, 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 no. Oh, we're not doing it again? Okay. Uh, well, this is what I was talking about earlier, John. If number 69 was, are you going to go my way? The answer to the question is, yes, I'm going to go your way. And in fact, I'm going to go all the way down your, your way. Great. I, I don't know. Um, so this is another perfect power, power pop. pop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't even know exactly what it is. I mean, it's just kind of, I mean, for one thing, I guess it's kind of proto power pop. So you got to give it a nod. And for another, I, there, there's just something so ridiculously crawls into the skin like a disease about this number. Like, they got a great like guitar tone to them. Yes, exactly. I don't know anything else they did besides what Eric Carmen wrote later, but um, which is largely Carmen San Diego theme song. Yeah, the Carmen San Diego the musical Carmen. The musical you know, he's Carmen. He's had quite a rich and varied career. Let lent his voice to Eric Cartman of South Park. You know, <laughs> sing me yes. And be myself. You want to be? Uh, no. <laughs> I love my number sixty-seven now. My number sixty-seven <laughs> is um, "We Are the Ones" by the Coup. Uh, kind of in the combination of, it's got kind of like the funk and. What an insightful comment. It's got the funk and the rapping. This is good um, rock and roll uh, uh, music. music. Yeah. <laughs> the funk and the rapping. <laughs> sounds like so it's, oh, you love the CD. Yeah. <laughs> it's got the funk and it's the rapping. It's got the funk and the rapping. <laughs> you know, it's what all you it's kids your grandmother these days gives are you into. It's <laughs> yeah, like a like a seventy year old giving like a, their kid like a. A CD for Christmas in like 1991 or something. Yeah, you like this. <laughs> the funk and the rapping and the Bill Clinton playing the saxophone. It's everything you kids are into. And it's like an Al Green album. <laughs> Ma, this is terrible. What were you actually going to say? <laughs> <laughs> I think we broke. <laughs> yeah, uh, all right. Uh, yeah, so just uh, another one with just so many great, like, clever lines. Like, Fabulous it's all lyrics, this heroin yeah. and not one hero. And just so many, so many, like... The delivery of it all. And it's, you know, it's starting out just telling about, like, drug dealer's story. But then it's also, like, what, you know, final verse then goes to, like, well, how did he get here or whatever. You know, like, we're all, we all have this kind of, like... American riches, falsehood, or whatever, and you know, great like through line. Oh yeah. All right, number sixty-seven. We've danced to this many a time at our '80s dance night and done our arms in a shape. You spin this me is, round. No, this is bizarre love, love triangle, triangle which is just a <laughs> beautiful dark '80s dance number. By New Order, uh, continuing the tradition of their predecessors of Joy Division, kind of uh, that same darkened synthesizer, uh, a little lighter, but much but more danceable. Yes, yeah. e extremely danceable, but kind of like She's carrying lost that. Control. In. <laughs> I've lost control. I've lost again. control. I'll, I'll, I'll say "Love to Well Tear Us Apart" is fairly danceable. Yeah. If you don't, if you if you ignore the fact that it's extremely sad, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But yeah. Anyway, yeah, bizarre love triangle. It's it's a triangle. All right, number 66, but I forget if this made my metal list or not, but it has the best title of this whole top honor. It says, Ghost Ship of Cannibal Rats! Yes, that's it did make your metal. Okay, and I yes. probably made the same <laughs> joke. Uh, so yeah, I... Uh, right, your story said, of discovering great, it. <laughs> compact, Ghost Ship of Cannibal Rats. Where is that? along with that climate change song. Yep. What's your number 66? Yep, it's a, it's a climate change with the ship. We're all ship. gonna die. Uh, and... We're all going to die, so what are you doing on your back when you should be dancing? And, I don't know, avoiding death and... Uh, this is You Should Be Dancing by the Bee Gees, uh -huh. which is a great, straight, four-on-the-floor disco song. There's not really that much to be said about it, except that it's a perfect disco song. And uh, also, I guess the DGs are doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, that was great. Yes, I mean, they do a great version. But, yeah, it's just very, just, just very, just get on the floor and just... This is what this is when you like skate around at your peak speed or something. All skate, all skate. I don't know. I don't know. All I, skate arena. All skate arena. Yep. My number sixty-five 
Going from my metal list to my folk list, here's uh, Natchez Tres. Ah, uh, yes, you gotta John say it right. And the Four Lost Souls, and just great, great uh, 12 string guitar. Mm -hmm. The Wrecking Crew, right? That's the, or no, not the. No, the, definitely uh, not. Muscle the... Shoals. That That's was it, the, yep. the famous Dushin guys working with John on it. And great backing really, vocals. Yep. Bethany Thomas is one of the people. Oh, I do not know that. their names. I don't know the other. I should know their names. Name. They're yeah. two great singers. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, my number 65 is British in a very different direction. This is Dear God by XTC. Mm. Now that's an incredibly British song on the other. Yes. <laughs> going the other way. It's extremely epic. It's a, it's a great epic number. It, it, it never fails to make me shiver a little the way they use the child's voice at the beginning and the end. It's kind of like... It kind of gives you this image of, like, someone who lost his faith in adulthood a little bit and then is kind of, like, disappointed the child in himself. Yeah, I yeah, think it's just such song. a jarring, such a jarring image. It, it, it kind of brings a tear to your eye. I like just, like, I'm, you're probably unsurprising you. I like the big angry part. Oh, <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> I will say, like, when he comes in, he feel, when he first comes in, he feels, like, a little too goofy for the material. He's like, there you go. Hope you got my message. Well, yeah, yeah I'll give you that. <laughs> but I, I think it still works. I think it, No, it's a fantastic what, song. Once you hear the transition from the child's voice to the adult's voice, I don't think you're going to be changing the song. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, that's not a great, <laughs> <laughs> that's not a great first sway to sound, for sure. <laughs> his, yeah, his, his voice kind of makes the serious ones harder but. it works on like senses working over time which i feel like is a somewhat that's not that, well uh, it's got that it's weird kind of like, creaky his ones where he's trying to get across a message yeah fair. i, I, mean, I like fair. no thugs in our house but ah, we still kinda... our house yes <laughs> all right <laughs> a weird one speaking of messages and brits uh this is sure to blue by the men they couldn't hang and this is another nice uh it's like the the miners' union, the two boys growing up together. One of them grows up to be Great a story. union striker. One grows up to be the policeman putting it down. Just what a, you know, that, that kind of story is always interesting. Like with Highway Patrolmen, by, uh, Bruce Springsteen, kind of similar narrative. We had one that we were going, we kind of started, the song we started to write that we That's right. got rid of because it wasn't well, very was good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we tried. We tried yep. so hard. Well, well, maybe we'll revisit the uh, idea one day. Yeah. Good, it's a great idea. All right, number 64. Uh, we're, we're just continuing down the dark path here with Blackest Eyes by Porcupine oh, Tree. Oh, yeah. This is, a, this, is a, this is one that gives me the shivers in a different direction. Like, when, you put the, when he does the little whisper under... Oh, yeah, shivers under... of excitement, right? You're like, take me to your guy. Ew! <laughs> and murder me. Ew! Maybe that's, that's, that's how this guy pulled it off, isn't it? Like, that's why he can kill in the first place. Well, we figured it out, folks. So, yeah, yeah, serial killer. What Just what great transitions from the, the like, the... That, that riff, if it isn't already well-known, should be. You know, just all the way through. And, and the acoustic part is also great. Like, it's not one of those, like, wimpy acoustic riffs. Like, it's really a driving, like, kind of almost like the wind in the sails. And the way you know? it goes back and forth between the two in that very jarring direction. Yeah. And, the, and Wilson's vocals work really well with it, too. He's kind of got that, like, creepy and also tame quality to him. Yeah, I, I think they almost made my list. I think I had Fear of a, Bla a Blank Planet. Oh, yeah, I ripped that one off <laughs> for Zolotl. <laughs> it's, 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 that, that song started when I made a mistake playing Fear of a Blank Planet. I, I tell you genuinely, that is the case. Our lawyers have said uh, the last segment was redacted. Oh, okay. Our lawyers say a lot of things, and somehow John gets it beamed to his head. Yeah. I, I don't have that same communication <laughs> I've device. I've got a Where teleprompter it? right back there. You just look oh, over to the hacked? left, and you oh, see, see. see it says, uh, alarm, alarm, it's alarm. Like a, it's like a Bruce Almighty situation. Okay. All right. Well, anyway. Yeah, they, how did you know they're all named Bruce? All six of them. We have six uh, lawyers named Bruce. Well, I, I know because we hired them from Australia, and they all sounded uh, oh, suspiciously yeah. into Oi. philosophy. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> my number 62. <laughs> it's, it's gone off the rails. My number yes. 62 is uh, Paid in Brains by Direct Hit. And now here's a very on the... on the. Oh, wait, we're on 63. 
Uh, uh, my number 63 is my only ska song on my list. It's Point Counterpoint by Streetlight Manifesto. And it's TikTok clock. Yep, and it's just, like, incredible. It's got the, you know, this, this serious little, like, acoustic intro with the chorus, and then all of a sudden, like, all the horns kick in, and it's just, like, this number. exploding wild thing. The drums are going all over the place. And then when they go back to the chorus, it's the same, like, kind of, spoken thing from the intro but now it like tripled the speed so he's just kind of like motor mouth i got a gun in my hand but the gun won't conquer my fingers on the trigger but the trigger theme sucks and i can't stop like, staring at the tiktok <laughs> clock and even if i would i would never keep up with the best of my chest a bullet in my lung yeah i'm dying with my song on song and even if the time would you bear me alone because i never get to home i'm singing this song that's me running by the way <laughs> <laughs> and then kind of you know nice oh, yeah. big break back into it and yeah great band great band See him live a couple times. Number 63, uh, you knew this was coming, so I'll just get this out of the way. It's Lose Yourself by Eminem. I don't, I, I don't know. It's the, 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 it's, it was written for a movie and you can tell. So, I mean, written for his movie. I wouldn't movie, have been but. able to guess. Well, you can, kind of, you can tell compared to the tone of many rap songs that don't sound, I don't know, they don't sound like the intro of this one is really the, I feel like without the intro, it might just be another song, but like the way it kind of builds into it musically. Look, if you had one shot, one opportunity, you know, just kind of the way it kind of, it's very, it, it very much like perks your ear up. And of course, I mean, Eminem is a very skilled rapper. So like he certainly gets his, he gets his point across and has so many rhyming syllables. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know the rap. Yeah, you got all these rhyming syllables. Yeah, you know it's an Al. Who is Al Green? <laughs> well, he's you know he's the real godfather he's of rap. The, he's the funk, the, the funk, and the no. <laughs> okay, my sixty-two is paid in brains by direct hit, as I was saying, and just this is you know pure no nonsense number. It starts right with the like. Goes in and just like a smash your head in with a hammer kind of riff and just kind of I like how it pulls back a little and still sounds a little insane on the verses yeah it's kind of like lowered down but still like very like aggressive and going forward and then it's got like just a tiny bit of the sung choruses um, yeah, I did those when we covered this. Yeah, yeah, this is in our uh, like our 50 state, 50 cover Wisconsin, songs. These yeah. guys are a pick for Wisconsin. I think they're from Milwaukee. They certainly play in Chicago a lot, and I definitely try to see right. them whenever they do because they're great, aggressive performers. And we're not singing about brains. They're singing about cadavers, so. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're right, you know. Uh, number 62 from me. We will probably see this band again on John's list, but for me it is The Pretender by the Foo Fighters, who are obviously a fantastic crew. They are, like, top top upper crust live bands right now, certainly. They're probably, like, you know, tied with a few other people for, like, number one live band right now. They are so, so Maybe wonderful. Maybe even, like, of all time. I mean, but like, but yeah. They they put they so put much on energy so in much, that show, yeah. And they so clearly love what they do. But anyway, that's not about the song. The song, the Pretender, is just a wonderful. Start off with the intro, a little softer, and later on you bring it back. But just go into one, another way to punch someone into the, into the rest of the song. And John's doing his Dave Grohl impersonation, as you can see. <laughs> He probably isn't even. I don't. Know, I, that's probably, probably Taylor, Taylor Hawkins. Hawkins. Yeah, who is also point. a great drummer. Yeah. But, <laughs> but anyway, actually, who do you who do you favor of the two, John? Who who do you think is uh, I, I a mean, pure it's a, drum? It's hard to tell because uh, you know Dave Grohl might write some of the drum parts and like. Fair enough. Either, I mean, I've got to go with Dave Grohl just based on all the stuff he's also done in like Queens of the Stone Age and, and Nirvana and them such, crooked yeah. vultures. Yeah. True. I was curious. All right. So my final one for this. Much uh, calmer than past couple is Poncho and Lefty by Towns Van Zandt. At least one of these people is not in the man who the man they couldn't hang. Yes. Because, what? you know, they didn't they hang him in the okay, song? Okay, all right. <laughs> if I have to explain, it's no longer funny. But. <laughs> and you know, uh, one of these people is uh, Lenny Kravitz because he's a lefty. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, this is this is I'm gonna keep We're laughing as it. I say this is a great, you know, heartbreaking folk song. It's kind of so heartbreaking. I always it's so heartbreaking. I always like the song has you know a lot of nuance and this song has a lot of nuance because you know you like as as it ends, you know, like a uh, Poncho needs your tears through, save some for Lefty. Like Lefty betrays Poncho, but even at the end he's talking about how like, you know, Need some sympathy for for Lefty because he just did what he had to do and now he's getting old. That's very much a you know no winner, no loser, no villain kind of morally kinda gray number. A song, yeah. Yeah, and I do want and I do want to say for our, for all our joking about laughing as we deliver us, I do feel like Towns Van Zant when he communicates a song kind of does it with a little bit of a chuckle in his voice. Here maybe more of a sneer, I guess, kind of like out, out of kindness, I suppose, kind of a thing. I think it's just yeah. it's a it's his way of saying things that's really unique. So I want to applaud that as well. Rip. Rip. Uh, number 61, we saw this We saw this band earlier on John's list with a, a bigger song, which could have been my pick, but... Is it Rearview Mirror by Pearl Jam? No, it's Which Way to America oh, by Living yeah. Color, which... Cold Personality, fantastic song, of course. I think it was on my list last, last time we did this. But there's something about Which Way to America that just kind of kicks you in the butt. And it's the closer on the album. And so the way they end this song is ingenious for it. Just kind of like the, the, the political chatter and then they shut off the television. And that's oh, vivid. Yeah. <laughs> so just just all the way around and just... that The bass, obviously. The way the guitar comes into it. The, 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 complete, the complete breakdown the vocalist seems to have. I want to know how you get to America. Uh, I, 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 obviously, another like great lyrical topic of just like, oh yeah, your neighborhood seemed fine, but uh, you, you might want to pay attention my now. America's or, you doing know. terrible. Okay, maybe, maybe a couple points off for my America's doing terrible. <laughs> so, <laughs> like your uh, loneliness and Inverness thing, but um. <laughs> That's our list for today. See you next week.